Hi, Sharks. My name is Alex Bertelli, and I'm a former Army Special Operations helicopter pilot and the Very CEO cool. of Haven, the world's strongest smart lock. And my name is Clay Bakes. I'm the COO of Haven. We're from Nashville, Tennessee, and we're seeking $500,000 in exchange for 6% equity in our business. Wow. Sharks, not long ago, it's an expensive Clay and I lock. both experienced a series of break-ins in our neighborhoods. Oh. In reality, a break-in occurs every 18 seconds here in the United States. We quickly realize it doesn't matter if you lock your doors or not. The traditional deadbolt just isn't getting the job done. Let me show you. This is your standard deadbolt. While it may feel secure, when you lock it, an experienced intruder can get in in about five kicks. Alex, show them how easy this is. Come on, Alex, kick it hard. He's going to throw his back out there, kicking the <laughs> kicking this door. <laughs> now, for anyone who doesn't know, Maxwell Ivy is the blind vlogger, and uh, he he cannot see the pitch that we are watching. But but I assure you, it looks as hilarious as you probably imagine, <laughs> Max. You know, this. I expected him to try to pick the walk. I didn't expect him to try to kick the walk. Ah, picking takes too long. Takes, you know, looks conspicuous. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they should have had somebody like trying to pick versus, like an expert picker or at least an intermediate picker, you know, a nose picker. Come on, Alex. <laughs> oh, uh, still trying to get through. Uh, Come on. Let's kick it. How much you sell the deadlocks for? <laughs> they should have really rehearsed this. <laughs> well, they said it takes about five to six kicks to get through the through the door. So we'll say. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, he's, he's this is just bad. This is embarrassing now, man. I mean, oh, oh, he's got a he's got a ram. Now he's like a cop. He's just a break in occurs in the 18 seconds. Is this their lock or the one they're trying to exhibit as the wrong is, no, wrong that, kind of lock? This is just the dead bo the deadbolt, right? Is, is oh, okay. that's all that's all. So they, it's doing the devil's doing a pretty good job there. <laughs> oh, the door's starting to come apart a little bit. I don't think it's ever good when the sharks are laughing at you. Well, uh, hopefully they're laughing with them. But at a five hundred thousand uh, dollar for six percent, they better they better get serious because they better have some serious sales and a serious patent to back that up. Are you okay? Typically, a break-in can happen in the, minutes in the United States. One in 36 homes in America will have a break-in. Smart locks based at the deadbolt are no better. Alex? Sure. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so well, right. when things don't go the way you're expecting them to go during your pitch, at least everyone's laughing. When people have a smile on their face when they're laughing, th th their guard might come down a little bit to, like, Hopefully, you know, be prepared uh, for some massive sales and a patent. What do you What do you think there? Yeah, I, I I tend to agree, and and also as a former showman, I understand the value of just continuing to move along like everything is just fine and enjoy the moment. But I'm doing my little math in my head here, and I'm figuring that they've thinking their company's worth ten million dollars, and I'm not exactly sure I'm seeing that yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Well, they haven't demonstrated their actual product yet, but but the solution, the 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 thirty dollar deadbolt is uh, I don't know if they're thirty dollars, but it seems to be pretty good. But Barbara's got a good laugh on her face right now. As you can tell, I'm not an experienced Are you okay? intruder. I'm good. Okay. But show them how Haven works, Clay. Yeah. Uh, Haven sits at the bottom of the floor, right next ever. to the existing threshold. When activated. The wedge-based barrier lifts up. Using simple physics, this makes your entire door 10 times stronger to preventing home break-ins. To use it, you simply step on the gate to open the door. To shut the door, you lock it with the gate with oh, the wow. pedal, and you can see there's no deadbolt here, right? So, Alex, check y'all, show him how it goes. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna ram it again. <laughs> to the fly kick, Alex. I mean, this is a door without a deadbolt. Oh, wow. I mean, the, the actual, he just did a flying jump kick into the door. Uh, <laughs> to, I don't, I don't, uh, you know what? With no deadbolt, it held up pretty good so far. Let's see. Let's see. Here goes again. Oh. Wait. Wait, so he came through the wrong door. He came through the door with the deadbolt instead of the one without with their Haven lock. Interesting. Absolutely. Oh Haven God. is still standing strong. We've got some demos we'll show you. Alex, you've just gone down in Shark Tank history. <laughs> you 
You got, you got that right. Connected version, Mark. You okay? Hell yeah. Here you go. <laughs> right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water, Clay. Why don't you start? <laughs> so, Sharks, we've got two products that we manufacture. We have a Haven mechanical mech that you have on this side. We have an electronic controlled one. And Mark's got it down here on That's this side. Cool. It's got a key fob, yeah. just like you have with your car. Oh, cool. It also has a smartphone app where you can share e-keys. I would be able to send you access to my house, schedule that. I would get notification when you come and go. What does each cost? So our cost for the mechanical only one, we sell it on our website for $182. It costs us $67 to make it. Our landed cost is $82. Our profit margin on that is 55%. What about the Bluetooth version? Okay. How much? The Connect version, we sell for $349 on our website. Ooh. Right now, cost of goods sold is $175. Wow. Oh, a lot. wow. I think get that down. It's our, our first wow. batch of production. Yeah, they got to get that way down. I, I you know, I thought that's a that's a heck of a sale uh you're trying to make there given the fact that you're Oh, I lost Max. Oh no. Oh, there he is. Um that's a that's a heck of a heck of a price there that they need to work through uh get that cost down. They're saying that's the first batch that they've made. Um but uh, again, you're you're talking about something. The mechanical version uh, is a whole different way of looking at a lock, where people are used to doing the the little rotating with their hand as they you know uh, walk through the door or, or putting the key in. But um, I, actually, I'm kind of curious as to how do you use the me the mechanical version on the other side without like a key fob? That doesn't make a lot of uh, sense I'm, to me. I'm curious about that too. I'm also curious about what you mentioned that their their costs are 50 percent of their sale price which really doesn't leave any money for the for the retail or the anybody else that wants to resell this product and it's and it's a tough sell right you're like here's a 30 dollar like tried and two true dead deadbolt right that clearly kept him out for long enough uh versus here's a 182 dollar solution 150 dollar more solution that cost. Do you have a right. On and here's show? another question that occurred to me. Um, what about people like Amazon that will install something like this in your door for you in exchange for being able to deliver packages to you? Yeah, no, that's a, I mean, that's a good opportunity uh, for them to be able to, uh, to sell to Amazon. No, Amazon's going to want a really, probably a lot cheaper solution than, than even that $82 <laughs> landing cost uh, that they're paying. So, We'll see. That's from the UK, yeah. we're still pending in in the US. There's uh, nothing like this no, that's on the floor and that no, stops somebody Our from entering. Actually, covered the entire door and for sliding doors. Oh so wow! Did you do it at so they got the patent. So that's ding ding. Good job. They haven't said how many they've sold yet. So uh, let's get to that because there's still even with the patent, they still have a lot, a long way to go. No, they haven't mentioned units or gross sales or any of those numbers that sharks are going to want to hear. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So that's the other exciting thing we want to tell you about is due to recent current events, schools started approaching us to put this in individual classrooms. Oh, wow. Huge market. There's uh, over 115,000 schools in this country. This is to protect the classroom, classroom from anybody yes, getting in. Our plan is to lock down a classroom within one second and give teachers access and give uh, security resource officers, SWAT team access to the lock. It's actually uh, a really good idea. That is, idea. That is a good idea. That is a good idea. Your sales mark. Okay, so so far we just crossed the $250,000 mark of, of total sales. Where are you selling them? Okay. We sell online on our, on our own website. How much money have you raised and how much debt do you have? We've raised $1.5 million. Wow. And how much debt do you have, if any? We have uh, two uh, investors with a convertible note debt of a uh, total of $500,000. There we go. Mm. Are you two the sole owners? We currently own 25% each, and then we have investors on top of that with additional <sighs> equity to sell. Wow, they have given uh, a lot of their business up out of the gate here. Uh, you know, 50% of their businesses is, is gone, but apparently inv the investors are looking to get their money out of it. Uh, so it does give them some wiggle room. Uh, to be able to make that happen, which is why they're probably going to have to stick to their five hundred thousand for six percent, so that somebody can get somebody can get some money out of out of the deal. Uh, but they are sitting on quite a quite a bit of a debt there too. So the school yeah. situation, what is it? That My you question have would be: Do their investors want out? Yeah, maybe they're well. Maybe they don't see the whole picture, or maybe they've already been. I don't know. They didn't say when they started this, so maybe it's already been a couple of years, and they're like, "Eh, you know, I'd like to get my money out out of this." 
Yeah. Schools. Tell them about the purchase order we got in Arkansas. So in, in Melbourne, Arkansas, we installed three locks about a month ago. They had an open house. The parents loved it. The next day, I got a call from the superintendent and said, I've got 94 classrooms left to do in this school. I want to put in an order. That's nice. a big wow. order. Wow. Order, order 94? Yes, ma'am. Of the, of the Bluetooth ones, I assume, so they could lock down remotely. Uh, that's, whew, man, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's, that's great. That's a $35,000 order. Wow. Wow. What are you going to do with the money? Sure. So our biggest problem is inventory, simply. So we're going to use part of your investment to go out and scale inventory with our suppliers. Guys, look, I think what you've done is brilliant. Mark, let's, let's do a deal. Oh, man. But the challenge is your economics are awful. Your margins are awful to support what you, what you need to do. We're just starting our manufacturing. We have made 2,000 locks and got those into the customers. We paid way over for those first 2,000. We're not going to pay that for the next 10,000 or the next 20,000. I think you're going to have a, a pretty hard time figuring out how to get to scale and figuring out what works and what doesn't. I don't want to be part of the journey. I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think you have a huge mountain to climb and something that I don't think we'd get our money back. So for me, I'm out. You, well, before we find out <laughs> who else is going to be out or have an offer for these guys, Max, tell the people, tell the super entrepreneurs who you are, what you do, and how they can get in touch with you. Yeah, I am the blind blogger, Maxwell Ivy. They can get in touch with me at theblindblogger.net. That's theblindblogger.net. Uh, I help people gain it exposure for their work by connecting them with opportunities such as podcasts, radio shows, virtual summits, and other online media. And I also promote their promote their experiences so that uh, their investment of time is leveraged and more people will see each and every interview they do so that we can drive traffic and help them grow their brand or their passion. Absolutely. And you should reach out to him. Uh, if you want to work with me on growing your business's profit, go over to superjoeparter.com and get my free profit rocket guide. It's a free PDF. All you got to do is drop your email address in over at superjoeparter.com. Just scroll down just a little bit. You will get there. And uh, if you have something to say to me, drop it in the comments below or get at me at superjoeparter on all social media. Now, let's see if anybody else is going to drop out or there's going to be a huge offer on the table. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you for your time. Pitch. Yeah, guys, I just think it's going to be difficult, particularly from a cash flow perspective. It's going to take you raising your price, you know, to generate the margins until your costs come down. And even then, the margins just aren't there, guys. I'm out. Sure. Wait, isn't he already out? The, I, thought, I thought he said he was out already. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is really smart. The problem for me is I like to really understand a product when I invest in it. And you might be too early. I can't invest at this point. So I'm sorry. I'm out. Oh, Thank man. you very much for your time. You know what? Come on, Dame, let's do a deal. I'm very interested in it, but sometimes it's, it's what's in the best interest for the entrepreneur, too. I can give you a sharp deal. Then you may have to raise more capital, then you get diluted. Well, give them something to start with. What do you Let want them to decide. Yeah. The, the only reason we're here is to get one of you on this team to guide us, to mentor us, to get us into distribution opportunities and help scale our costs down. We want you on this team. You're not going to like what I'm going to say because... Well, yeah, because if you want him on your team, he ain't doing it for 6%. <laughs> like, and, and paying 500000 to get a piece of it. I mean, look, I, I think it's a great idea. I just feel like, why not just do two deadbolts, right? Uh, like, you could get, like, Bluetooth-enabled or Wi-Fi-enabled deadbolts that you could, like, do one up top of the door and one at the bottom of the door. Or even, you know, it, something to that effect where... It just seems like a, a much cheaper device that's already out there on the market to just manipulate. So you'd be like, hey, we could lock down everything. So it's not just one deadbolt, but like, bam, two deadbolts go right into the door. It can be, you know, removed uh, from from an app that, you know, on one of the, the phones or, or something to that effect. I don't oh. know. I, I just feel like it's just it's a very expensive solution to a problem. And, and even if they can get their costs down, there's still going to be, there's still going to be a, a problem there. Right. Well, for me, I think that their idea is really good, but I think that they either failed to anticipate the sharks or they have yet to realize the problem and come up with a solution to it, which is the time it's going to take to scale the production uh, to the point where they can start making real money from this 
And as the one shark said, it's probably too soon for these guys because these people like to see when they're going to get their money back and, and in what relationship to how much money they put in. So uh, I think they really uh, failed to see the most obvious question that the sharks were going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, or, I mean, they're also dealt the situation that they have where they just, you know, they've already given up the, the percentage that they have and, and they, you know, it just it's it may you know they say it's too early to invest but in some ways it's it may be too late to invest because of the amount of money it's going to take to get in at that valuation and they're you know they're just not going to give that kind of level of money for something that they don't necessarily think they're going to be able to get their money out of, especially at the profit margins that they're they're at currently um they didn't give them a scale down they just said oh we will get our costs down we'll get you know you'll help us get it there but they didn't say like well we did the math we did the numbers and like we can get our landed cost down to you know 45 dollars from 82 dollars on the mechanical one like that would be huge that would be huge taking more of the company than you right know. and i'd like to make a a prediction maybe not an outright prediction but this could be like the ring doorbell where a year or two from now when it's bought out by Amazon or Walmart or somebody else that the sharks are going, man, why didn't we put money in that? Yeah, it could. Be. I mean, well, any anything that goes in the shark tank potentially could be that thing. <laughs> Your best interest. And I need you to be a little And that's a great yourself. point, Joe. So I'm Losing on shark tank can sometimes be the best thing that happens to you because then you – are put in front of other investors who may be willing to give you a much better deal than any of the sharks will. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. Well, there's more, you know, there's more fish in the sea or more sharks in the, <laughs> in the ocean. I'm not going to give you an offer. I'm out. Oh, thank you. Sharks. Oh. Good, guys. Congratulations. I, I am definitely a customer sure. though. This isn't our first objection. It is not going to be our last, but there's a problem out there we're solving and we're going to keep going after it. We're going to continue on. Uh, the, the team follows the motto that I lived in the Army. We're never going to quit. We have paying customers out there, not only residentially, but commercially. And we're going to keep going. Well, that is awesome. Uh, let me pull up their website here. So they, uh, they're they still making their locks. Uh, that comes with a 10-year warranty, free shipping, 30-day risk-free trial. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty pretty awesome stuff that they got going on here so let's go if we go to the mechanical is now 149 instead of 182 it was 199 uh, according to their website 29 reviews uh prompt shipping easily installed so it, you know it, it works uh but they you know they got 23 five-star reviews which is awesome there's oh here's a here's a two-star review uh does not include everything necessary it says it comes with hardware but it doesn't include screws that work with tile or concrete or with wood uh you won't find that out until you purchase it and get the online instructions then it tells you you have to order the parts extra so i guess i will since i'm too remote from a box store uh, let's take a look at the Haven Connect. So that's uh, so it was two ninety nine. They have it down now to two thirty nine. That one uh, does that include the yeah? That one works from the app and a transponder that you have to put off to the side. So for two thirty nine, uh, that's that's pretty cool. It's Alexa compatible. Uh, pretty pretty nice. Let's see what's the reviews here. So twenty six. Is this the same amount? Oh no, these are different reviews. Here's a all right, here's a one star review. Late shipping. It's been eleven days and still no product. You should ship the product before asking for a review. Another week and I cancel the order. Uh, but they did respond to it. You know, we're always going to get negative reviews in with our business, but it's how we respond to it that makes the difference. Uh, they say I apologize that you have uh, that you. Uh, that you have received email requesting a review prior to receiving the product, but uh, great, great, but great new your order. Oh, great news. Your, your order is en route. Uh, you should be given a tracking number. So, you know, it, it things that, like that happen, right? Like in business, we just right. need to yeah. work through that. So, you know, great, great opportunity. Uh, they have a, Oh, they have a Z wave connected one. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, if you're into the Z wave, uh, stuff, they have a clearance page, um, for reboxed Haven. You know, ones. as I was, 
as I was thinking about their pitch, I noticed something they left out that they didn't mention any of, but I think they would be perfect for. What's that? Are people who live in those buildings where they're not allowed to make any structural changes or, you know, like uh, in historical yeah. areas of Virginia, for example, where you can't even repaint the color of your door? Something like this would be perfect for those people. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I was kind of thinking that too, where like, you know, because you were saying about the Amazon aspect and the Amazon aspect is, is cool. Uh, I mean, they do, they do, they do it with garage doors now where they open the garage door and, and put the package in. But, but having something like this or, like I said, a deadbolt that they could control would be, would be one, you know, a whole nother thing. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's I think it's great, Max. Thank you for for joining me today here on the Biz Coach Reacts. Thank you for watching another Biz Coach Reacts video. Please feel free to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video in the hands of more super entrepreneurs like yourself. For Maxwell Ivy, the Blind Blogger, I'm Super Joe Pardo. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.